around yesterday. Uh, kind of like last minute, sort of, my schedule changed. I got a phone call at 6.30 in the morning asking if I could uh, take one of my coworkers' shifts. She was uh, closing that night because she had some personal business to attend to. So instead of working 9 to 7, I worked 12 to 10, so that pretty much ate up the entire day. Um, I decided since I was working so late that I was pretty much just going to stay in bed until I needed to get ready, um, which is exactly what I did. So it was a pretty good shift. Um, it's getting a little busy at work right now because uh, we're getting so close to the holiday, we're getting filled up with the dogs. Um, so right now, sorry, changing lanes. Right now I'm on my way to just run an errand, um, letting my hubby sleep in a little bit. The only good thing about switching my shift like that is she took, um, I took her shift yesterday and she took my shift today. Which I know I'm down a shift, but I still had like I think a little bit of vacation time to use up, so I wasn't really going to be too concerned about it. And plus, it was like really helping her out, so I was just like, yeah, I'm like even if I have to use a little bit of sick time, I'm like go ahead and do what you need to do, you know. So um, my husband had today off, and now I have today off, so we actually get to spend the day together. Uh, we didn't end up going to Costco the other day. We just kind of ran out of time because he was doing laundry and he was tired and stuff. So I'm like, well, we'll just do it Sunday when I get off work. And I wasn't supposed to be off work till 3 today. But now that I'm completely off, we can just go when I get back from running this one air. And I'm just trying to let him sleep in a little bit. So it should be a nice day. I mean, it's kind of gloomy and stuff out. But we love going to Costco. So <laughs> that should be good. And then I think we're going to rent free codes for Redbox. I think we're gonna rent um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. I used to watch that cartoon when I was little and this movie looked pretty funny so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. And um, that's all that's going on right now. So I will come back to you guys later. Anything else exciting happens? Bye. Hey. My heater finally kicked in so I don't have to wear my jacket up to my So these are some of my favorite mints. Sorry, I have one in my mouth right now. I figured I'd show you. Of course, they're from they're from Trader Joe's. They're a ginger mint. There's nothing minty about them. They're very gingery. They're just very yummy. Um, and when I used to have more upset stomachs and stuff from food, I would go ahead and pop one or two of these, and it would help settle it a little bit because you know ginger is good for your tummy. Let me just show you the back. Not only are they organic, but they are vegan. It says it on there. Hopefully you can see that because I'm not really watching what I'm sh showing you. Uh, maybe a little bit more that way. Alright, this is probably not the smartest way to be driving, so I just wanted to show those to you guys. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye. And P.S. It kind of all ties together for me in my own weird little ways. I'm reading some posts on some vegan uh, Facebook pages and um, and then actually no it wasn't on there it was on a friend who still lives in California so scratch that but she's saying she's having a lot of digestive issues so she decided to finally go to the doctor and get tested and the doctor said basically there's nothing I can find wrong with you and he said we can do some allergy testing if you'd like and he also mentioned that over in Europe, they don't have GMO foods. And he said, and they have less um, digestive issues over there. Well, whatever his turn on to her, she seems to want to go like non-GMO now. And so that was my little ticket to kind of chime in a little bit. Um, and I was like, hey, yeah, I said, I used to have a lot of digestive issues. And ever since going vegetarian, those have all but disappeared and I said you know I I said I, I eat you know plant-based diet as much as possible and I eat organic as much as possible and organic stuff is non-gmo and I buy non-gmo stuff as much as possible and I said it seemed to help a lot so I just kind of planted that little seed for her and hopefully she'll kind of take a hint from there but then I also just said but I hope you find something that works for you and for me Ever since I stopped eating meat, specifically, 
my digestive issues have all but gone away. Um, I still have issues every once in a while, but I know when that's when I'm not when I'm eating kind of crappy food, which I do from time to time, so I totally expect it. But it's not an everyday annoyance, occurrence, pain anymore. So, you know, whatever your reasons are for doing whatever you do, eating less meat, going vegetarian, going vegan, plant-based, whatever you want to call it, whether it's for the animals, for the environment, or even for your health, whatever your reasons are, it's a good thing. So, yeah, so I kind of hope that she kind of takes that to heart maybe a little bit and, I don't know, maybe starts to think about, oh, hey, maybe if I stop eating all those hot dogs and steaks and pork chops, maybe I won't feel like crap all the time. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of share that story with you. Um, that's it for now, at least. Hello, we just got back from Costco, just picked up a few things. Uh, got me some contact solution. It's cheaper there, and those are big bottles. Found these mini spring rolls, vegetable ones. My husband actually pointed those out. And there's the ingredient list. I mean, not spectacularly healthy, but there's no... As far as I can tell, there's no eggs, no dairy, and obviously there's no meat in them. And it was like... I don't know, like 10 bucks for 45 of those. And they're, I know they're the little spring rolls, but still. And then I got my organic mango chunks. This is a three pound bag and it's like $7.99. So that'll be enough for three breakfasts for me for next week because I'm uh, doing a lot of opening shifts. So I usually make myself a mango smoothie for that. And then my husband found this, looks really good. Gourmet red ginger stir fry kit. So those are all the veggies that are in it like broccoli, carrots, kale, snap peas, and a red ginger sauce. I don't know what's in the sauce, but if I don't want what's in the sauce, I just won't eat it. So there's the ingredients for that. All right, and then also we got this chopped salad that's a kit also, and it comes with its own dressing. My husband loves Asian food, so what we were thinking was we'll do this for like a lunch and then we're thinking about having this stir fry kit and then some of the egg rolls for dinner tonight and then I also got some of my organic sugar and then he's coming in with a couple things of toilet paper and a 20 pound bag of potatoes and that's about all we got we got the potatoes that's a big ass bag of potatoes 20 pounds of potatoes for $5.49, so I couldn't pass that up. And they're big potatoes, too, so that's going to be yummy. Look at us, we're pretty. Look at it, they're so pretty. Oh, look at all those babies in there. You just need a bigger they actually, cake. They actually look pretty healthy. Too. No, they look really good. They're, they're eating good, you can tell. Yeah. Look, how, look, how, look how much mass I got for the babies. Hey guys, I think I'm about done for the day. Um, we had a late lunch at Jason's Deli, and I get the um, zucchini grillini, uh, which is really good. And then the so half a zucchini grillini and the side salad. So it's one trip to the salad bar, but I just I load that puppy up like super good, and then I have the side of fruit with it. So we had that at like three. So I'm still pretty full now, and it's like 6, 6.30. So if we eat anything else, it's going to be like later tonight, like something snacky or something like that. And my husband just went out to go get a movie. We're going to watch Ninja Turtles! Whoa! <laughs> um, and pretty much that's it for the day. And then, um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I was watching one of Tanny Raw's videos and then going through the comments. And she just um, went to her one of her like favorite grocery stores or something and bought some of the Desert Essence spritzer stuff for curly hair or something. And a lot of the cruelty-free vegan stuff is kind of expensive, as I'm sure you guys all know. And a couple of people, like two or three people, mentioned going to Vitacost.com. And I went on there, and the prices are a decent bit better. And then if you order, I think it's like $49 or more shipping is free. So if you order like a couple months supply, 
you know, of like your shampoos, toothpaste, chapsticks, lotions, whatever. Um, not only do you get it cheaper, you get it free shipping. So you're, it's like a good savings all around. So I checked that out and I might be doing that in the future. I'm pretty stocked up right now, but maybe for the future, like when I run out of shampoo and run out of um, my toothpaste again, because I use the Tom's toothpaste, the sensitive, the fluoride free one. I get it at Whole Foods. I have to check other places, but it's like $6.99 a tube. And on Vitacost, it was like $3.99 a tube. So that's like a pretty, pretty big savings. So even if I bought, you know, like 10 tubes of that or something like that, or 11 tubes or whatever it needs to come out to be, or 12, 13, I wouldn't buy that many, but you get the point. It would still be a heck of a lot cheaper than buying it one tube at a time. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to share with you. So I hope y'all had a good weekend and had a good day today. And I am off tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be vlogging. Maybe I'll actually cook something. I know I haven't done that in quite a while for you guys. So, yeah, that's about it. Y'all have a good night. Bye.